In this demo, we will be seeing how to delete devices which are not connected. First, we will create a query which will list all those devices which are not reported for a specified number of days. The query can be created or we can use the default out of the box query. This is the out of the box query and this is the criteria used to create this query. Let us copy this query and not change the default query. Let's rename the query. If we check the query criteria, we have 30 days set. We can change this criteria to the desired number of days. We can see there is one device which qualifies this criteria. The next step is to create a device group out of this query which will list all those devices which are matching this query. We will keep the same name to understand the query and its association with the device group. We can find the device group we have created under the device groups node. We can confirm we can see the same device which was provided by the query here. Next step is to create an operational rule which will actually perform the deletion of these devices. Let's do that. The step which we are going to use is called as cleanup devices. Let's find the step. We will have to add the device group which we have created using the query we have created for the number of days we have provided. And then select these options and this is the main option to delete the devices. We also need to add an administrator account. For this demo, I'm using my admin account. You can add the appropriate user according to your organization. The, the rule has been configured and ready for execution. Please note that this step is a master step so this rule needs to be assigned to the master server and not to the client devices. The operation rule has completed the execution. Let's check the device group status. And we do no longer has the device present in the device group. The rule can be also scheduled to execute on a desired time so that this mechanism can be automated. Thank you for watching.